And now, teammates, family members, please join me in welcoming to the stage the daughter of Chief Master Sergeant and Senior Master Sergeant Glasscock, Miss Sydney Glasscock, our First Lady, Dr. Jill Biden, and the Commander-in-Chief, the President of the United States, Joe Biden. And thank you and Melissa for all that you've done to lead and serve at this base. And congratulations on your new post at the U.S. Transportation Command. You know, it's wonderful to be here at Milden Hall. And for all the little kids here, I hope you enjoyed your movie, did you? Yeah? <laughs> okay. You know, we're so grateful to Disney and to Pixar for who helped us find a way to celebrate you through this movie. And Joe and I are always excited to, to visit with our troops and their families. You know, you can sit down. <laughs> I don't want you to stand through. <laughs> Joe, pay attention. <laughs> As the daughter of a Navy signalman in World War II and a mother of a major who was in the Delaware Army National Guard and served a year in Iraq, and now as your First Lady, I'm so proud to be here with all of you to begin our first overseas trip. From those of you who have served more than 20 years to the youngest military kids I, that I see in the crowd, you are our ambassadors to the world. And thank you for representing us with dignity and pride. Our military families may not wear a uniform, but you are as crucial to our military as radar is to a fighter jet. In the United States, we have an all-volunteer force, and it continues only because generations of Americans see the honor, dignity, and patriotism of military service. When you serve, your families serve too. That's why supporting the physical, social, and emotional health of our military families is a national security imperative. And the leadership here at Milden Hall understands this too. In preparation for our vis visit, Colonel Pan Anand wrote this about you, and I quote, you may be familiar with the term military dependence, but I will tell you over the past 15 months, it became abundantly clear just who exactly was depending on whom. Our military families already versed in sacrifice are the true unsung heroes, end quote. And the colonel is right, you are heroes. And you're commander in chief, and I believe that as well. And that's why supporting you is so personal to us and one of my top priorities.
through our White House initiative to support military families called Joining Forces, we're going to work on military spouse employment and entrepreneurship, make sure that you can get quality childcare when you need it, and provide the education that your children deserve. No one has more strength and grit and resilience than our military families. But you can't do this alone. We have to help you carry this weight by improving access to mental health resources, ensuring everyone can put food on the table, and supporting caregiving families and survivors. Joining forces will expect every government agency to step up and be a part of this effort. We are going to make sure that the families of our service members and veterans, caregivers, and survivors have what they need to survive, to thrive. Our military is a community bound together by love. Love for our country, love for the men and women who serve beside you, your husbands and wives, your moms and dads, and love for the communities that you build together. And it's our obligation to match that devotion. May God bless all of you, our troops, and their families. And now, I'm excited to welcome our next speaker, someone who is so familiar with what it means to be a part of a military family, Sydney Glasscock. <laughs> Sydney, I know growing up as the child of two service members comes with challenges, but it's also helped you to become the person you are today, someone with a broad and beautiful perspective of the world who is able to weather change and uncertainty. I hope that you know how special you are, and we are so grateful for your and your family's service. So, Sydney. Thank you, Dr. Biden, for the introduction. All the support you've shown for our military families and your amazing words tonight. Let's give her another round of applause. <laughs> uh, good evening, I'm Sydney Glasscock. And as a military child for my whole 14 years, I can appreciate what the words military family really mean. With both my parents actively serving in the military, my mom is a command chief, and my dad currently deployed, I understand that military family involves more than just my family unit, but rather everyone in this room. Even if those of us here tonight don't share the same last name or bloodline, we always step up for one another at any given time. That's what makes each of you so special. That's what defines us as a military family. And that's what makes me incredibly proud to share this community with our next guest. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome our Commander-in-Chief, 